we have secured a place in the playoffs. We are down to the last two matches. We are still topping the table and there's a three point gap. So basically all we need is just one point out of the last two matches. Can we do it? Probably something will go wrong, but see. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Journeyman on Football Manager 20. We are here in Mexico with our mighty Santos Laguna. And since the last time you and I were together, in which we've beaten America 6-3 and won the League Cup final, we I have played some games off camera and things have been going rather well. Immediately after that episode, we drew 2-2 away to Monterrey. It was, uh, we went down 2-0 in the first 23 minutes, then Petty got a goal for us in the 34th minute and Alvarado scored in the 92nd minute, so it was the last, a last minute draw. Then we've beaten Corre Caminos in the Mexican Cup, heavily rotated squad, Edson with a goal, Valdespino with a goal and Selly with the third one. Then we drew again away to Leon. Leon, who I think they are basically last at the bottom of the table, so it was a bit of an um, underachievement there. Drew nil nil, then went to Puebla and smashed them 6 2. Goes from Valenzuela with a brace, Petty with a brace, and Alvarado and Sally. Then we beat in Caminos this time in the league. 2 nil home, Luis Fernando Valenzuela with a brace. Then we played the last match of the Mexican Cup Group G. And we drew nil nil away to UDEG, and that's fine. I mean, we played with a rotated squad. We were qualified already, so it's okay. And then we suffered our second defeat of this in this league. We suffered a home defeat. Basically, we the, the two defeats that we suffered were were both home. Um, to Veracruz one nil. Now, where does this leaves us? It leaves us. With the last two matches of the match, of the um, of the, of the league, and do um, we have a three point gap over Puma? So basically, all we need to do is get one single point out of these two last matches, and everything should be fine. So, um, possibly it would be a one match episode. So if we win again to the, if we win now against Chivas, obviously we, there is no need to. To show the last game of the season because and then we go directly to the playoffs and tomorrow's episode will be the playoffs but to do that we need to beat chivas in their own back garden and i don't think this is going to be something easy to do because i can feel that the players um not the players as such but we are going through a bit of a um, tiny difficult time i i have this feeling because I think we should have closed this matter before. I mean, we lost, um, we drew, and we lost the match. So, and especially that draw away to 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 the bottom of the league team. Can't remember the name. Um, yeah. So I have the feel. Come on, petty, petty, petty. Forgot all of. It. Forgot everything I just said. Petty scores 36, 36 seconds into the match. One of the fastest goals, possibly, for us. 15 goals of the season. Yeah. We're gonna win the league. <laughs> Morin. Oh, by the way, the board were so happy with us winning the League Cup that they gave us 33.5 million as transfer budget. Now, the thing is, will they let us spend them on the players we want not only ecuadorian players that's something we have to see but yeah happy days 33.5 million um we can um, actually i'm not come on oh there's not much we need i believe um 
if I had to buy, get some players in, I would probably get someone to replace Sally. Uh, this, this, well, Sally has a place guaranteed in the first 11, obviously. But uh, we have no cover apart from Juarez, which is not really a, um, a left midfielder. So, yeah, I will bring in someone on the left flank and probably will get a replacement for Truillo. Well, again, Truillo will... will will uh, will always start our 17 year old star but again we have no cover there um if something happens to him so yeah that those are the two po positions that probably i will bring players in for the rest obviously if i um if i hit some wonder kids and stuff that's that's another question that's another story but yeah those are the two key positions that I will uh, reinforce coming um, the next transfer window. And Gomez here tries his luck and half time. Time flew by. Let's tell them that we appreciate their efforts. Yeah, why not? Why not? Let's ask them for more. Uh, what are Pumas doing? Pumas are winning. We need another goal just to make things. I didn't mean another goal for Chivas. I meant another goal for Santos Lagoon again. And they get the draw. Come on. Let's close it off now. This is... Oh, oh, Ledesma's injured. Let's sub him let's put our ecuadorian midfielder in for ledesma uh, is there anyone who well truillo i'll well not everyone everyone is under par hmm. come on let's have a bit of a coffee oh flores why did no 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 uh, this is a goal. Oh, fuck. Jorge Jose Benitez. Told you. Told you we're not playing well. I could sense something wrong boiling. Come on. Let's at least get a draw. Oh, now we're equal points with Pumas, obviously. Let's pause. Let's go on attack. Let's show, ask for passion. Come on. Franco the cross. And who's that? Valenzuela. Come on. Valenzuela gets the goal for us. Still. We're just one point ahead of Pumas now. What a header. What a solid header there. The one more, come on. Can we find a cheeky goal in the last minutes of this game? Franco to Avila, who had a quiet match up till now. Avila gives it to Petty. Petty enters the box. He cuts it in to Franco. <laughs> First goal of the season, Franco <sighs> scores in the 85th minute and puts us in front. Why can't I? Yeah, let's. Oh no, don't concede now. We do offside, offside, offside. No worries. Okay, so basically, we're five minutes away from the title. If you can call it title, because then you have to play playoffs and stuff. Oh yeah! Full time! We won it. We should have won it. Let's see. Let's see. Come on. Because we have better goal difference and we've beaten Puma, so 
Yep. Quit. No, wait. Hang a sec. What is this? Ericsson. Eric Ladesma with six weeks out. It's not good. Why would Maureen get... Yeah, actually, yes. Let's give... Maureen is one of our central defenders. He's like 12 years old. Come on. This should... Yeah, right. Fine, fine, fine. So... We should have won it. You know what? Let's play the last match just to be on the safe side. So here we are with the second match of this episode and the last of the season. Home to Nekaxa. And we kept the same 11 apart from Franco. He replaced Ledesma who is injured for six weeks. For the rest, everyone stayed the same. Let's go smash Nekaxa and make sure we win this opening stage of the league. In the meantime, in between matches... The board informed me that the youth facilities upgrade has um, has been completed and now there's nothing else to do apart from improving the data analysis facilities which I asked the board to do so, they agreed so the board agreed to spend like 650k for the upgrade which is good and that usually that doesn't take long so basically probably by the end of the... when, when we start the second thing of the season this the, the closing stage and um, the data analysis facilities will have been completed so that's very good very very good um for the rest nothing else to report just let's try and win this match and make sure we end up first in the league torres torres is like 20 not even 20 years old and he has white hair look at that Okay, maybe he dies it. Sally on the left flank, past his opponent, past another one, <laughs> and that's a pen. <laughs> what a player this Sally is. I forgot his real name, though. Valenzuela with the penalty and 1 0. Took some risk there, but it paid off. 14th goal of the season. This Valenzuela has been filling Badalori's shoes very, very well. Basically, he scores in every match. I told you in the first season when we bought him, I told you that he can, he has the potential to be one of the best ever Mexican players. And um, he's not there yet, but <laughs> he's on, he's on a good, uh, he's a good prospect. Yeah, he's doing well. He's in a good run. Come on, Flores tries to find a partner in the middle of the park we steal the ball petty is one-on-one -on -one with their last defender enters the box but he gets tackled oh petty went back there like went back to the opponent torres the number 50 i like the gear we look like celtic basically morin who just signed a new five-year deal out to Sally on the left. Sally finds Valenzuela. What a pass from Sally. Oh my god. I mean, Valenzuela did very well with the finishing there. No doubt about it. But Sally's pass. Look at that. This Sally guy. Look at that. Look at that pass. Boom. Picture perfect. Millimetrical. Valenzuela with a brace. 38 minutes on the clock. And everything is going according to plan. <laughs> Let's praise the lads. What about Pumas? What are they doing? No, we need to address the situation. Let's do assertive and tell them that we're happy. That's it. Nothing out of this world. <laughs> Pumas, according to the gap we have, they're losing. Or the five point gap. There was a three point gap. So they're drawing. Petty to Alvarado, Alvarado to Avila, Avila 
Alvarado, <laughs> he's well known for these goals, Alvarado. I think if he scored ninth, this is his ninth. Probably all of them are um, like that. Shots from outside the box. Probably. Well, the vast majority is. Definitely. What a goal. Alvarado. Pff, bish, bash, bosh. That's number three. And probably it's now over. They have a they have a guy named Bello, which means nice, good looking. Come on, nick it off. Rubio enters the box, crosses it in. No one there to connect. No damage done there. And there's a police car here. Is that a police car? Up here, or an ambulance? Hmm. <laughs> Let's make a few subs. Um, Avila is on eight. Jesus. Okay. Let's put Zilio in for Avila. Um, let's put Valdespino on for Petty. Uh, Shall we take off Sally? Nah. Let's put Flores in for Ramirez. And there goes our three substitution. Let's praise the lads because they, uh, they're they playing well. So yeah. Did we praise them? Yes, we did. Kalau. Oh, nice pass to Mendoza there in the box. And what a finish. Axel Mendoza. What a finish. Well done, son. Fair play to him. Now, um, we're all fired up and stuff. So this should not create us problems, basically. Come on. Sally with the throw in to Franco. Truillo. Sally again. Back to Truillo. Back to Sally. Sally is involved in each and every highlight. Look at that. What a pass once again to Valdespino. Valdespino shoots. A solid save from their keeper. And now Mendoza can counter, although he's one against four. But he has the pace. Look at that. He enters the box. Oh my god. What a goal would that have been. Jesus Christ. He's a coast to coast. Entered the box. Passed like five of the... What the f... <laughs> Can we have an easy last 10 minutes? Valenzuela for the hat trick and. Come on. Sally is on 64% now. Now we are tired and they are getting first on every second ball and Rubio. No, offside. Ah, come on. Six minutes. And again. We ask for more. Now they feel pressured. 88 minutes, 8 and 9. Four minutes of injury time. This game should be over. Zito. Lovely pass to Valdespino. Come on, buddy. Come on, come on. Yes! Valdespino, second goal of the season. He's he's a good guy. He's he's he he doesn't play too many 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 games. Actually, this is probably his third or fourth. But whenever he comes in, he scores. So that's fine. And we finished this opening stage of the league with a five-point lead. Excellent, excellent. This, I find it a bit silly though. I mean. You finish off first, then you have to play playoffs, and uh, and if you don't win the playoffs, you get like as if nothing happened. And I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it. I think you win the league. That's it. You go and compete in the Champions League. That's my thought. But let's see. Avila gets one over Nekaxa. Here we got Avila from Nekaxa. Now we send the assistant. Valenzuela on form, obviously, we'll praise him. So, 
Hmm. Let's have a look. Okay, so the first top eight. Santos Laguna, Pumas, America, Monterrey, Pachuca, Queretaro, Necaxa and Toluca. Basically are the same. Basically, probably are the same. No, Tigres didn't. Yeah, okay. Quite did find disturbing that teams like Tigres, Tijuana and Chivas didn't even qualify for the playoffs. Let's have a look at the player overview details. Okay, so Calere, Calero, Jose Calero ended up top goal scorer with 14 goals. Then our Valenzuela with 13 and also Petty 13. So we have a 26 goal partnership at the moment, guys, which is not bad. <laughs> which is not bad. The last time at Shenzhen, we had a 24 goal partnership between Lucas and um, Leal. Halfway through the season, we're there, basically. <laughs> um, so, yeah, Sebastian Gerardo with... Okay, he's the keeper, doesn't mean anything. Felipe Avila with most assists, 13. Uh, Alvarado with the most team goals, follow... Tied with Jurado, Petty, and Ramirez. Basically, they played them all. <laughs> um, Fernando Valenzuela, the most shot on targets. Games 1, Avila, Selly, Moren, and Alvarado with 15. Player of the match, uh, our Valenzuela came in second. Well, basically third, because there are two with six and Valenzuela with five. And um, Selly has the second best dribbling percentage with f average of 5.82 let me have a look just a small look at this Juan Jose Calero guy he's 20 year old Mexican uh, now he's not good enough for us he's not good enough for us so um for schedule let's actually let's go by squad and let's filter them by average rating so Where is the average rating? It's here. Okay, so can we move this? Yeah. Yes, that's it. Okay, so Selly has the highest average rating, 7.78. We're followed by Avila, 7.76, along with Petty. Arturo Alvarado with 7.58. Excellent. Excellent average ratings. Basically, there's nothing, obviously. Um, Selly and Davila are the best players we have in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the squad, along with Petty. So, nothing unusual there uh, to have them like top three for average rating. But on the whole, um, they're all above seven. So, that's good. And uh, our starting eleven, the roll above seven, so that's good. So we did, we had a we had a good opening stage. We had a good opening stage. So let's have a look, a quick look at the schedule. Now we are playing. Obviously, we will come back. What's we are on the twenty eighth of November, so basically we have four days um, until the quarter final. So, yeah, tomorrow's episode will play the quarterfinals. Until then, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did so, don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. My name is Jerry D. And until next time, hasta la vista.